The easiest way to get mods to work inside of Minecraft. You want to know this. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. We've done a few videos in the past on the easiest way to install mods into Minecraft, but this way is by far the easiest so Far. There's been a lot of big news around modifications in Minecraft and there's a lot of new mods coming out for the newer versions for 1.10 and 1.11 which still isn't, even isn't out yet. And uh, this is because there were a few roadblocks within, within the modding community on some base level code that needed to get worked out that's finally gotten worked out and there's a whole bunch of great stuff coming down the line really, really soon. Everybody knows FTB, Feed the Beast. Well, that was actually bought by a company named Curse and we're gonna use the Curse Launcher in order to install some mods very easily. So first you're going to download Curse from curse.com. Uh, then you're going to have to create a profile and that's because um, Curse use does a lot. Uh, and in fact, FTB was uh, bought by Curse. Um, do not sync my friends list. <laughs> and, um, uh, and we can be done with that. Uh, and and so a lot of the features of FTB, uh, which was Feed the Beast, are now inside of Curse. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you have uh, your Minecraft add-on, which will be over here on the side. If you don't have it, you can click this looking for add-ons and it will scan your system and see if you have Minecraft. And once you have this, then you can add a whole bunch of different packs. So first, what you're going to want to do is cl cre click create a custom profile. And this can be named anything. OMG craft is what we will. Whoa. Um, I cannot spell um, is what we'll call this one. And then you can choose uh, your version. Now, you could just play normal Minecraft with this uh, using either betas or everything like that. Um, but we're going to stick to a uh, a, a modded, which is we're going to be using Forge. What's nice about this platform is it keeps everything up to date. It understands uh, exactly what version you're using. So it looks for mods with that version. So I have a few here because I have I have uh, some mods that I've shown off on OMG Craft. I have my Crack Pack mod and then the one that we just created. Instead of clicking play, let's go ahead and click in by just clicking on the thumbnail. And then you can see that there's a few different options. You have mods, resource packs, and maps. And all you have to do is click get mods. And then here you go. You can see all the different mods that are available, which is really, really cool. So if we wanted Tinker's Construct, we could install Tinker's Construct. And what's cool is that you need Mantle for Tinker's Construct. Uh, because, you know, as, as you sort of see by the description, it says shared code for Forge mods. So it automatically downloads that as well, which is really, really neat. So uh, Walla or what am I looking at? Harvestability. Uh, we can install that. It looks like there were no uh, sub mods for that. But you just go down and install the mods that you want. What am I looking at? Uh, okay, I guess we'll put in two of those actually. And then if you say, oh, you know what? I didn't really want that. Uh, you can go back to your mods pack and it looks I have both of these so let's go ahead and turn off one and that's super simple to do. You can do the same thing with resource packs which is pretty neat. Uh, it, a lot of these resource packs also have the ability to uh, support a whole bunch of different mods so that's neat. Uh, so we could let's just do da, 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 da. yeah let's do Sortex. There we go. We'll install it. And it'll download everything we need, including all of the stuff for the mods. And we are off. So once we're done with all of that, you can either go back and click play or uh, inside of the profile, there's also a play button. Once you click play, it will open up a launcher for you. And you can see that this is the profile OMG craft and you only have one. And it's going to play on Forge, which is really, really cool. It does everything for you, which is super duper nice. Uh, now it's already figured out how all the mods work together. It is putting them together and 
launching Minecraft. So Minecraft has launched. Looks like I'm using a beta, so there may be a few options. Of course, the first thing you always do is turn vo <laughs> the music off. And you can also see here are the mods that I have installed. I have Ender IO, I have Chisel, I have uh, Tinker's Construct. So let's go ahead and we can start a single player world. Let's go ahead and create it in uh, creative. Now this will take a little while to generate because of course it is a modded server. And there we go, we are inside of this world. You can see at the top of my screen, that is the what am I looking at mod. So it will tell me if I can harvest it or not. I have the first book for materials and you, which is for Tinker's Construct, which uh, explains a lot of Tinker's Construct uh, tools and things like that. You can see that I have some very, uh, oh, some of uh, my uh, resource pack uh, is installed on here as well. Uh, I think that I can just go to options, resource packs, there we go, let's make sure we got that uh, added, obviously, and there you have it. So, modded couldn't be any simpler. I really, really uh, love uh, Forge for making it uh, so simple to, oh my gosh, is auto jump on? Oh my God, <laughs> oh God, we gotta turn off auto jump. Um, but uh, they really have made it very simple. Now remember, like I said before, that Forge uh, is not just, or uh, sorry, Curse is not just a uh, mod loader, it has a lot of other features, so uh, there's that's a little word of warning, is that you may run into things like it will always be running on your computer, you have to make sure to turn that off so it doesn't always run. Oh look, that's, uh, that is from uh, uh, Tinker's Construct as well, that's uh, slime uh, up in the sky. What What is this? Is there a bat? This bat! The heck? Um, it's modded, who knows what it is anymore. Um, so uh, beware, I would say beware a little bit that uh, Curse may take over a few things, um, but I, I uh, trust the company. I know many people who develop for the company, and so uh, I'm not too worried about that. But that is something to keep in mind, that they are trying to build basically a community instead of just a mod launcher. So it's just that simple. And of course, if you already have the curse launcher installed, well, dang, that's easy. And you don't have to go and find your mod folder anymore and navigate through your app data roaming Minecraft folder. This is fantastic and easy. And it also makes it very easy to share your mod pack or even get the server download as well through Curse because of just how simple it is. It's just a few clicks. And so you can make your own mod pack to share amongst your friends. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment down below. There's also uh, some information in the description on where you can get Curse and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.